What is up and is going on guys, Simpsy here and today for you I have another episode of Third Age. Whoa. I actually didn't fart then I moved my keyboard. <laughs> anyway, welcome back up to, welcome to Third Age. <clears throat> okay, there's a couple of things that have happened. So currently um, we've got an army here in the Foldberg which is gonna be heading up um, north into Eriador. First things first, we uh, we took out most of the elves of Lorien and their settlements in there. We're currently besieging the mountain fort. I do believe this is their last settlement. Um, I'm just going to quickly double check that. Uh, where is territories? Elves of Lauren. I think it yeah, they must. Be, they must have one now. So we're going to be taking them off. We've got some reinforcements. We can get whoa. We can get reinforcements from nearby. Orcs of the uh, Orcs of the Misty Mountain. Oh, there's one archer unit there, but I think we should be. Can we take it this time? Yeah, and we'll actually do that at the end of the episode. Um, okay, I think we'll just get talk down in Gondor. Um, we still have some troops moving to the Foldberg. <clears throat> um, okay. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Uh, Maslag went on a mass recruitment and. Uh, we're pushing, I think, uh, we didn't attack them, uh, I think Mordor attacked them actually. And uh, now we're chasing them back, so we have to fight Boromir, we will with this army very shortly. And let's go all the way north to, we moved down to Tharbad. Ah, okay. We have Saruman here with our fire launchers, called kind of Ballista. And we also have Ugluk, Look, he's got a lot of archers, he's got some crossbow units. Legal. That must be the first crossbow unit we recruited there. Oh wait, no, it doesn't go in the archers. My bad. So we've got two lots of Uruk Uruk archers. Uruk crossbowmen and then just Snagger. Who's actually in this army? So you know, there's a fair de they got their decent troops in there. Arno militia. Arno Arnorian heavy archers. <laughs> oh, awesome. So we'll be taking that in the next couple of turns. So basically what's happening is we're pushing the... Oh, we've got to actually... What the hell? Okay. So we're still finishing off Gondor. We're about to take uh, the last of the Earls of Lorien out. And we'll do that now. And we're moving on Eridor in the north. Now, one of you guys actually put in the comment section down below. I feel really bad because I can't remember your name. I probably should have checked before I recorded this, but... Whatever. Um, Someone in the comments below said, Why not... Betray Mordor and attack Mordor and try to be the superior power of Middle Earth, and uh, I don't really want to do that just because, <laughs> or not not just yet at least. I want to focus on. Let's go with military and where's Mordor? I want to focus on wiping out all the evil factions because look at their look at their military. Their military is what? What's that one? Far out, three times the size of mine, and. Uh, Basically, at the moment, I would just want to wipe out probably all the all the um, evil factions because I did play as Gondor, and that's what was the the main thing was continual killing all the evil factions. But I want to keep this Isengard going for longer, and it's kind of good as well because Isengard was kind of in the middle, so we can expand in any direction. So um, I guess once we take out the elves of Lorien, oh, they're probably going to go into horde mode, aren't they? So we're going to have to deal with them. But nevertheless, we have a battle. Um, they have a couple of good troops, Galadrim, guards. We've got a couple of archers. And they have their faction leader in here. So, without further ado, I'll see you guys on the battle map. Welcome to the battle map, guys. This is actually... Eh, it's not as big as Fortress as what I expected, but... Kind of cool, you can see the Misty Mountains in the distance. Okay, so we also... So, um... I'll tell you where my deployment is once we do it. So we're going to get the ladders to attack. I have only one lot of archers, so we're going to put them there for the time being. I did deploy spike. No, I didn't deploy spikes. I thought I did. We can push them back a bit because they've got some range. Um, we've got another lot of, like, a flanking army here. Simply because um, we need to get as many troops in as possible and take out as many of the towers because their strength, their main strength, the Elves of Lorien is in fact their archers. So if we can get as many troops in there as possible, we might have a better chance of not using losing as many casualties. We're going to get the ballistas to fire at them as well. So, everyone run. 
I've got my Berserkers here, kind of, I kind of got the Berserkers and the Reavers just kind of in a bit of a mesh here. Also have my Pikes, I don't think we're going to be using them because there's no cavalry, so uh, I think we'll be using the other Heavy Infantry first, so where's my, whoa, these guys are getting hammered. Okay, maybe I should just fall on back because our archers is going to get absolutely slaughtered just standing there. What's the percent of the towers? Not too bad. Okay. How are we going with the ram on this flank? Well, we're going to get absolutely smacked by archers. We need to get as many troops in there as possible. Oh, there goes the ram. Shit. Um, okay, we'll fall on back. We'll get the ballista now to actually fire. We do have our heavy troops in there, so they should be able to... Are they routing? I was going to say... Oh, this flank. I nearly forgot. Oh, no, we got the... We got the... The guys at the gate. Um, what is in here? Just levees and stuff, I guess. Oh, this tower's been destroyed. Okay, we're going to have to swing them back around to rally up with the other guys. We're pretty much full on. God damn it. Stupid medieval AI. It's okay, we've broken down that flank. So we can get in there. Okay. Go, go, go. Yep, we got the gateway. Good. Now we can move. Everyone else in except for we're in. Um, I guess we could get our ballista to fire into that mesh kind of thing here. So what do we got on the walls? We've got two lots. I think I'm going to get my just these ones specifically on the walls just to kind of take out the troops on the walls, <laughs> essentially. And I might just get this a lot of Uruks just to kind of flank them. Because these guys should be able to push through the heavy troops. At least easily by these light infantry. Oh, get everyone to run. So what have we got left? Just the pikemen. We've got obviously Lurtz as bodyguard himself. We've got some guards of all thank. Whether or not to use them, that's pretty good. they got like a gold... Kind of sigil looking thing. Wow, we're still being shot from there? Um, I guess we could just send them in with the rest. With the rest of the troops just pouring in. Building capture gateway. And everyone is pouring in now. Um, so what's on the wall? That unit and that unit. So everyone here, apart from those... Oh, hang on. What was it? That unit and the... Yeah, I was right. So everyone apart from those two units, we're going to run into the town centre and slaughter. Ballistas, are they still firing over the top here? I don't know if they got any actual shots off, but we'll soon find out. How many casualties lost? 15%. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me, sending the amount of... Uh, seems the amount of bloody archers they have. So we lost, what did we lose? We lost our siege tower there. We've still got one in reserve, but I don't think we don't need it, obviously. We're pretty well right in there. We still got our ballista. Oh, that was a good shot. Again, nice. Doing well. And then now, just hopefully, we'll be able to push. And these guys are surrounded now. So another way we can flank around, we can go through that way, but... 
The only problem is pushing all my troops in at the same time is that obviously we're going to create a pretty big clusterfuck there and uh, they can be easily taken out. So I guess we could kind of just push. We, we will use a lot of casualties but if we can get up and in there we should be pretty well right. Just thinking whether or not I could just split this last these last couple of troops here. Get them to flank back around this way. Hmm. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get them to fire them. Wow! These ballistas are actually doing some decent work here against those horse archers. Holy crap. How are we going here? Ah, pretty much surrounding them and fighting them off. Good. What do I even have here? Lorry and Spearman. Okay. We'll move these guys around. We'll get them to attack them. These guys should be pushing up the causeway now. Holy crap. I think I might even just get my ballistas to fire at these guys because... Maybe we could kill the the general straight off. How are we going on the walls here? Still taking them on. So maybe once we take the limb, uh, I was about to say limb light fort. Then once we take this fortress, um, seeing it's the last one, I guess we'll just use this alert army to kind of pick off the last of the horde, but. Um, Seenings Imladris is actually really, really close by, so, uh, the High Elves own that, so maybe, maybe I might have to, um, might in fact take them. Whoa, these Ballista are taking out some troops, good god, awesome. Boom, boom. Oh, imagine getting one of them in the chest. Ooh, fucking drill. Okay, I think we can stop using that army, we can move up and attack them. That would be the worst way to die as well, being a general, just being shot in the chest with a, oh, with a massive bolt. And here we go, here go the Uruks coming in from the, the right flank. Um, 42 to 33, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Seeing the amount of... Well, you're going to lose a lot of casualties in a siege as it is. And especially with the amount of archers there are. But we should be able to prevail. Now that we're only just facing the last of the levy. Um, I'm just trying to think, is there anything else we can do? We've got our heavy troops just trying to finish off the last of the... Uh, Last of the troops on the flanks. And same here. It's kind of cool how the Elves of Lorien kind of got this last stand. We pretty much just declared war on them when the Orcs of the Misty Mountain pretty much just weakened the crap out of them. I think I might move my ballistas to attack these, the horse archers. Okay. Maybe we can get some shots off, but the only problem is we're really close to our troops, but... Oh, there you go, my knuckles. Should be pretty alright though. So what have we even got in this army? Well we just lost a lot of troops then. A unit. Maybe I might need to send in the guards of all thank. But we do have a lot in reserve, so it shouldn't matter too much. And mind you, we do double them. We have like 3,000, so. How are we going? Hmm.
Hey guys, just before I leave you today, I would like to go and please follow me on Twitter. It's the best way to interact with me. If you've got any questions at all, message me on Twitter and I'll reply to absolutely everything. On there you'll be able to see Let's Plays coming up, when I've posted a video, and all that good stuff. So uh, also, if you'd like to subscribe to get all the recent up-to-date content on my channel. So, bye guys.